All right, welcome to our lesson on prisms and cylinders. Uh, before we get going, I have to apologize. I'm uh, doing this from the top of a mountain on the Rockies in the Rockies, and it's a little bit cold up there, so hopefully you're not affected by that. Um, this is about the uh, about prisms and cylinders, which have um, which are basically the same thing. Um, prisms. Well, well, we'll get there. Um, some things, some terms we have to know about um, of the base of a prism. The base is, are are parallel opposite sides. They must be congruent polygons to be a prism. So here on this first prism here, the, the bases are the rectangle. On prism number two here, the base would be this pentagon and this pentagon. They're the exact same shape. On number three, we have a triangle and a triangle. So those are the bases. The two sides are the same on either side. Um, we will use a capital B to represent base, the big base. Uh, all right, the lateral faces. These are the, the sides of the prism that aren't the bases, really. Um, they're the lateral faces. They're, they're always going to be rectangles. There's four, of, um, four lateral um, faces, four rectangles that are not the bases of this. Um, this is called a um, rec rectangle, rec rectangular prism. This would be a pentagonal prism. There would be five rectangles, one, two. There's two in the back. There's three over there on the side. Um, four on the right side and then five up there in the front and then there's three of that triangle the back and then these two sides on the front then there's lateral edges which we need to be able to talk about um, the lateral edges are the um, intersections the lateral faces so there's like one two three four those are the lateral edges of this rectangular prism there's five one two three four five those segments they're all going to be congruent um, and of they're going to be congruent links um, equal lengths. I can't talk. There's four lateral edges there. Now the altitude, familiar word. Altitude, of course, is going to be perpendicular. Always is. It's the segment that joins the uh, the, the bases. It's always going to be perpendicular. The length of it is going to make the height of these um, prisms. Okay. So on this, these guys right here, these lateral edges, because they're perpendicular to the bases, represent the height. Um, this is not um, the triangular one here. Is not perpendicular, so we would need to um, make a segment that is perpendicular to come up with the height. All right? Um, now, now that we've figured out those terms, we're going to talk about how to calculate um, the area of these. So we, got, we have bases, lateral faces, lateral edges. First term, first main thing we had to figure out here is called, it's called the lateral area. It's the area of the lateral uh, sides, the two sides, or the two sides, the sides that are not the two bases. Sorry that I'm tongue-tied. The lateral area is the sum of the area of the lateral faces, the ones that are not bases. The way we'll calculate it, it ends up being a pretty similar, or a pretty simple formula. The perimeter of the base times the height is how you find the lateral area. The lateral area, the, the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. Um, simple formula. The total area is where we're going to add all of the, the, ed, the sides together, the, the two bases and then the, the lateral faces. Well, so if we already know the lateral area is the, the sum of the faces, we need to add the area of the two bases. So the big B, that's going to represent the area of the base. So the lateral area plus the area of the two bases will get you the total area. Uh, let's go look at this example over here. Here is our... Um, our base, it's this triangle, it's a right triangle, if that comes in handy. Um, it only gave us two of the sides. Well, to figure out the third side of a right triangle, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. That's a triple, um, x is 10. All right, from that we can pretty easily get the perimeter. 6 plus 8 plus 10 is 24 centimeters, that's the perimeter. To find the lateral area, we're going to take the perimeter and multiply by the height. 12, um, it doesn't indicate that it's perpendicular here. Um, but um, it is. It's, uh, so 24 centimeters times 12 centimeters gets us 288 centimeters squared. That's the lateral area. That would be the area of these three um, rectangles that make up the faces of that triangle prism. It's everything except the triangle on the top and the triangle on the bottom. That's the lateral area. The total area, the next thing it asks us to find, we need to use the height. Or we need to know what the height is, which was, um, which was 12 again. I don't know why I just said that again. It's going to be the, 
lateral area, 288 centimeters squared, plus the area of the base, which in this case is a triangle. So whatever the base is, you take the area of it. In this case, it's the area of a triangle, so 1 half times 8 times 6. There's two triangles, so it's 2 times the area of the triangle. Um, that's the 1 half 8 times 6 is the, uh, the big base. So we end up with um, the, the two bases have a, a sum of 48 centimeters, so add all this together, we get 336 centimeters squared. Okay, that, that is really all there is to um, lateral area and total area. While we're talking formulas, let's talk volume. The formula for the volume is the, um, the area of the base, whatever it is, whether it's a circle, a square, a rectangle, triangle, hexagon, whatever. The area of the base times the height. Big B times H, the area of the base times the height. So on example here, find the volume of that prism that's above there. We need to find the area of the base, which we did over here. That's what this was, 1 half times 8 times 6. So 1 half times 6 times 8, that's the base times the height uh, of the triangle. Then times the height of the prism is uh, 12 centimeters. Multiply all that together, we get 288 centimeters cubed. The volume will always be whatever unit you're in cubed. Area is always whatever unit you are. You have squared. Um, so the form, those are the formulas. They're, they're these. Lateral area, perimeter times height. Total area is the lateral area plus the area of the bases. Volume is the area of the base times the height of the prism. All right, example three. Uh, example three. Wow. Uh, find the lateral area, total area, and volume for the following prism. The bases, we have a triangle here, a triangle here. That's a right angle. It's a right triangle, a three, four, five right triangle. The height, this, that's going to be perpendicular. They, they should have marked it. This is perpendicular. I will uh, show you that it is. That's perpendicular there. Um, is 9. So the bases, they are there. We to find the lateral area. We need the perimeter, 3, 4, 5. The perimeter is um, 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4. Where my 4 go? There it is. Times the height. 5 plus 3 plus 4, which is 12, times 9, 108 kilo, kilometers, that's a big triangle, squared, is your, um, the lateral area. Okay? To get find the total area, we're going to take that lateral area, 108 kilometers squared, and we need to add the area of those two triangles. Uh, 3 times 4, those, are, those would be the, uh, the base and the height of the triangle itself. There's two heights here. we got the... the, the the height of the triangle, the base of it, and the height of the prism, which is 9. So um, we add those two, 2 times the area, we get 12. Add those things together, we get 120 kilometers squared. All right? Then volume. The area of the base, which we did just find, it's 1 half times 3 times 4, is the um, area of the base. And we're going to multiply that times the height, 9 kilo. Um, kilo kilometers, 135 kilometers cubed. Um, that's a pretty good example of everything that you're going to be asked to do for me. All right, I'd love for you to go ahead and get give these a shot here. Um, use, um, you could actually use any two sides as the base or any opposite sides of the base. Use the ones that are on the bottom and the top for the for the uh, base edges and then so the ones that are go around the sides as the lateral edges. Here, the base is um, the, the triangle, 5, 12, and we've got to figure out what that hypotenuse is of that triangle. Here we have, that is an isosceles trapezoid. That You're going to have to remember how to find the area of an isosceles trapezoid to find the area of that base here just, just shortly. But the trapezoids are those. So see if you can answer. Um, go um, lateral area, total area, volume for those. Okay, those are the answers for number one, numbers two, number three. If, if I'm only seeing those answers here, uh, I will know that you're just cheating. Um, an exercise, exercises seven through ten, this is just a rectangular solid. This is a, a rectangular prism here. Um, they just want you to, to kind of repeat this process. Um, see if you can fill out those charts. They give you the length, width, and the height. Um, 
by filling out this chart here, I hopefully it will help you to get more smooth on um, how these things go together. Do that, please. Again, if you're just writing in these answers, I'm going to know something's up. All right, that leaves us with cylinders, which is exactly like a prism, except it doesn't have a polygon. For the base, it's got a circle. Um, otherwise, it's exactly the same thing. To find the, um, in this example here, to find the lateral area, it's not the perimeter, it's the circumference. So the circumference of this um, circle down here that's got a radius of 6, um, the circumference is going to be 2 pi r or pi d. That's going to be uh, 2 pi times 6, 12 pi times 8 is 96 pi centimeters squared. I will take the decimal version. Um, the total area then, we've got, we're going to take that lateral area and we're going to add that two circles, the area of two of those circles. So it's going to be two times pi times the radius squared. 6 squared is 36, 2 times 36 pi. 2 because there's two circles, 36 because it's the radius squared, pi because it's pi. Add all that together, you get uh, 96 pi plus 72 pi is, I didn't tell you what that is. That's what it is. And then for volume, area of the base times the height. You've got to find the area of that circle, which is still pi times 6 squared times 8. So you get 36 pi times 8, 288 pi centimeters cubed for area. Um, I'd like for you to just go ahead and do the odds of these, 1, 3, 5, and 7 here, and see if you can get those answers. Um, I should be seeing some work again. Also, I guess if you just copy down the even answers on those, something's up. That is that is all there is to prisms and cylinders. Um, three simple formulas. You just got to know how to find the area and of some shapes and some perimeters of shapes. All right, get some rest. We've got a big finish. Bye.